Upon swooping, officially called canopy piloting by the U.S. Parachuting Association, test a skydiver's landing skills. To score points, the athletes swoop across a small pond, perform precision maneuvers, and come to a clean landing. It's all about getting on the water, getting wet, swooping, eating dirt, eating whatever, but it's a lot of fun. So you're going to get hurt. It's inevitable. It was worth the pain. Go mud or go home. Oh. We tried, tried to run across the water, but. The first event in the two-day contest involves dragging your foot across a curved lane in the pond. The purpose of this is to get a, to touch as much water as possible. So you're going to want to come in deep and touch the water right by the bank here and keep the toe dragging all the way along the pond and then come out the other end. Up first, Jeff Provenzano. Provenzano touched down clean and early and exited on his feet to score a perfect 40. The bar is set high. Jason Ames. Jason hit the water later than Jeff Pro, touching down just past the first red lane marker. He pulled hard on the controls to stay on the water and hit dry ground on his feet. A tick behind Provenzano. Kaz hit the water early, almost skipped out and exited early, landing on her backside and losing ground to the guys. After two rounds, Provenzano had a sizable lead. Shiki is in second place because landing on your rear isn't as big a sin as a short carve. There are five targets on the pond. You have to hit all five and land clean to score 40 points. Up first, Jeff Provenzano. His miss on the first target was his only miscue of the day. Now Jason Ames. Ames bounced over the second target. He won't make up any ground in this round. Shiki up now. She missed the first target like Jeffro did and again muffed her landing, losing ground to both guys. After day one, Kaz Shiki clings to a slim lead for second place. Jeff Provenzano is going to be hard to catch unless he makes a rare mistake. Day two started with a straight lane. Same rules applied, but there are no curves. How do you feel today? You ready for this? Are you all right? We're back. Yeah, I am ready for this. We're going up for round four. We did three yesterday. I did fairly well. I'm in second place at the moment, so I definitely have to uh, give it my all to. Jeffro was perfection again. Ames was just as good with his jump. Shiki had to be perfect to keep up with the guys, and she was. The freestyle or expression round doesn't have many rules, and obviously you have to touch water, but mainly you got to wow the judges. Blind man, blind man's probably like my favorite trick. It's, uh, it's where you, you, know, you level out and basically swoop across going backwards. You put a 180 degree twist in your risers, and uh, you just got to maintain the parachute, keep it in level flight, and keep it on the water while it goes backwards. It's pretty tricky, but I've got it dialed in now. Provenzano shows just how dialed in he is, turning backwards to skim the pond before exiting a little less than perfectly. The water was low, the pond a bit shorter than usual, just another test of athletic skill.
He's going hot. Yes, he is. Jason came in low, executed a crane, but ran out of pond before getting a full leg extension on his lazy boy. His splash landing was only a plus. Kaz executes a classy switchblade. What's that? She's pulling out of her vest. She sure knows how to play this crowd. It was not as smooth as uh, some of the other ones I pulled off in, uh, in my days, but it was good. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I'll take it. <laughs> it was fun. It was great. Going into the raft round, Jeff Provenzano had an insurmountable lead while Cash Shiki trailed Jason Ames by a single point for a second. There's the raft. It's 40 points for landing on your feet, 30 for anywhere else, and nothing for ending up in the drain. First up, Provenzano. He hit the water early to slow him down and ends up on his knees for 30 points. Ames set his chute in a big carving turn to reduce speed, kissed the water just enough to be legal, grabbed his raft edge and slammed it to the top with his knees, somehow holding on for a big score. Shiki needed a perfect landing for second place. She didn't get enough water and flew over the raft. And that was all she wrote.